Keep your heads up and your arms covered, beautiful family in Jesus Christ that's about to fly. Here's the verse of the day. And I'm juiced up because I know we're going home. 1 John 1 8. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, we'll be changed into our new incorruptible bodies. First of all, all glory to our Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ, for showing us this sign, September 23rd, 2017. Because it led us to this sign that looks like the final Revelation 12 sign and the rapture. The woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet. Next to the asteroid Yeshua, like Yeshua and Yahuwah combined. Right where a dad would be witnessing the birth of his child. Revelation 12 verse 2. And she being with child, cried, travailing in birth and pain to be delivered. Like how we're all feeling right now. And as you can see, the asteroid child on September 19th is out of the womb. And the birth happens on the Feast of Trumpets, Yom Teruah. September 15th. And two days before that, September 13th, the asteroid United Nations comes out of the woman. The dragon. And in verse 4, the word says, And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered, for to devour her child as soon as it was born. And in verse 5, the word says, Her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. And back in verse 4, the word says, His tail drew a third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth. And as you can see, right by Mars, there's an asteroid and it's asteroid 666, like the number of the beast. Desdemona, like the demon, the beast. And remember, the asteroid Didymos is right there too. The asteroid that NASA knocked off of God's course. And it could be on a collision course right now. And cause a third of the stars to fall into the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament sheweth his handiwork, and that's enough. But there's more, and this confirmation right here is extremely beautiful, and another gift from our Father. Thank you, Father. In the name above every name, Jesus Christ. And it's the asteroid Lydia. And people ask, what is special about Lydia in the Bible? She was the first Gentile convert in Europe and the first believer to open her home as a worship center for the European Christians. Lydia is described as a worshiper of God. Acts 16.14 And a certain woman named Lydia, a seller of purple of the city of Thyatira, which worshiped God, heard us, whose heart the Lord opened, that she attended unto the things which were spoken of Paul. Verse 15 and when she was baptized in her household, she besought us, saying, If ye have judged me to be faithful to the Lord, come into my house and abide there. And she constrained us. And we're waiting to go home. As you can see right here, it says, Luke calls her a dealer in purple cloth and a God-fearer or worshiper of God. Lydia was known for her purple dye and purple clothing. I even think that she was the one that dyed Jesus Christ's robe. And it looks like this year, before the Jubilee ends, we'll be finding out. But the point is, Lydia was famous for her purple clothing. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun. And this year on the Revelation 12 sign, the woman is clothed with Lydia and the sun. The only woman in the Bible that's famous for her clothing and purple dye. On 919, the asteroid Lydia is clothing the woman with the sun. All glory to our Father. This information, these signs need to be shared everywhere, quickly. If this is the rapture and it looks like it is, 
It's crunch time, family. So keep your heads up and keep your faith in Jesus Christ. It's time to fly.